the uh, car um, entertainment, you know, has sort of come a long way. Right. There wasn't really that much back in the day. I mean, right. what kind of, there was not really a show like, once Top Gear came around, then people realized how entertaining it is just to like sure. see cars and hang out yeah, with cars. Yeah, right. Now, we, I think really one of the best of it is Jay Leno. Like, Jay Leno's garage is fantastic. It is great. It's very good. Yeah, yeah. He loves cars so much that it's like, it's so contagious. I, I don't know anybody that knows more about cars from A to Z, from steam cars to hyper cars to race cars, everything in between. Jay Leno is literally a walking automotive encyclopedia. Yeah, I don't understand the steam cars. Like, get out of here with that. Well, what are you doing yeah, it's... <laughs> <laughs> He's got ones that he drives around yeah. that aren't even supposed to have rubber tires, so he had to put rubber on these yeah, steel yeah. wheels yeah. so that it's legal to drive around. Well, did he ever tell you, on, so on a steam car, you're, you're heating up this boiler, and the boiler's got water in it, and that turns into steam, and that's what makes it go. But when you run low on water, if you're not careful, it will explode. Oh, so boy. you have to, you have to, so you have to turn off the heat, and so so I, I, this came up because I was in Jay's one time and I saw one of his steam cars, and he's talking about it. I'm like, "What's the garden hose in the back seat for?" It's like, "Well, you know, I'm over at uh, driving through Burbank, and uh, you know, his his start running out of water, so he's able to shut it down so the so the engine doesn't explode." And he goes up and knocks on some little lady, little old lady's front door and says. You know, ma'am, can I can I hook my spigot up to your you know my hose up to your spigot? I need to put some water in my steam car. <laughs> Imagine Jay Leno showing up at your house. Oh yeah, wanting to borrow water. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's some crazy. Yeah, shit. he's he's got a insane collection. I can't even believe how big it is. When I was there, I was I, I thought it was just one of these buildings. Yeah. It's 11. Oh, it's the whole block. He has eleven buildings. Yeah, like that. they're all yeah. kind of daisy chained together. Yeah, it's incredible. And motorcycles too. Yeah. Yeah, we did. Jay's been a customer. Gosh, almost thirty years. We, we we he had a one of the he had the first black Gen One Viper, and so he wanted to do an exhaust, an intake, and a three seventy three rear end gear, and so we're scheduled to go out there and and I just talked to him like on the phone one time, and I only dealt with him. I didn't deal with any assistants or handlers, and so I just dealt with him on the phone the, the one time, and then I my wife had our, our first child we had a miscarriage and so i couldn't go so i just had somebody call out there to his office say john can't make it didn't give me any reason and do like two days later f flowers and a card showed up to our house and to this day i do not know how jay knew that we had a miscarriage or even knew my home address but somehow he found out and sent flowers we've been friends ever since that's awesome yeah that's very special nice. dude for sure super passionate super influential you know another thing i learned from jay that's cool so whether it's a 2.7 million Venom F5 Revolution or one of our, you know, Velociraptor Mammoth trucks. Whenever I'm out in public with one of our vehicles or if I'm at a, like a Cars and Coffee car show, Jay taught me that. What, I said, what, what got you into cars, Jay? He says, well, when he was 12 years old, there was like maybe a 55 Jag parked out in front of a store and he was admiring it. And the guy came up to the car and says, hey, kid, you like the car? And he says, yeah. And the, the owner said, would you like to sit in it? And so I've seen Jay at a bunch of car shows. So if you're somewhere south of 12 years old, you know, and you ask him nicely, you know, he'll let you sit in his car. So we do <laughs> we do the same thing. And so when they kind of start queuing up, and I get get the 14 year old, I'm like, no, 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 we'll have to. Yeah, stop he him. goes to those cars and coffees. Oh things, yeah, right? no, he, he he's takes all kinds. You know, of I mean, shit. so when Jay was doing Tonight Show, that's when I met him, and you know, we did several projects for him. He'd have it come out to the show, but he was always so busy, like. I would just like see him in passing and he's so like high functioning ADHD um, dyslexic, which my son Cole is too. It's just like his brain just moves at a million miles a minute. So like I see him, hey Jay, how you doing? Blah, 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 in and out, in and out, get in his next car and go. But then when he retired from the Tonight Show, a whole different Jay. Yeah. Just like you could have a conversation with him. He wasn't thinking about all the, the shit he had to do. And, uh, we, we and he's had, so much better at that show. Because it's oh. it's so much what he's actually interested Absolutely. in instead of just the job of hosting and, the Tonight and Show. And the mistake that and the mistake that I made growing up is like you know he would he would tell com do comedy on you know on the Tonight Show. Well, we always thought he was funny. We would watch it, but then uh, years later, maybe f uh, ten years ago, I got to hear him do stand up, and I'm like, it's so much more edgy. You know, my wife will only handle so much. Like, if you get into like a certain level of crude, she won't go. So I have to go by myself. So, so mm -hmm. he's like right there on the edge of of certain. Jay Leno's on the edge, really? Oh, dude, dude, I, I thought so. Uh, this, yeah. So Shell had a big uh, a big launch for a new oil product about ten years ago when we were there, and and, and it, he's like a fucking machine gun, dude. Like you get about so in that forty five minute set, you get at least an hour and a half worth of material. 
it is just coming fucking rapid fire. That's interesting. I got to go see him live then because I haven't seen I, him I think he's live dynamite. in a long time. 